Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Angie's Jungle House. Alright guys, so what I have for you today is a little plant haul. Um, and I'm going to go over my preventative measures before I bring a new plant into my home. So this one is a little out of order because these are actually being hauled before um, they are out of quarantine. Um, technically they're in quarantine, but uh, they're going to be hauled a little bit earlier. So the big elephant in the room is the philodendron hope. Now I picked this up at the local nursery, actually really inexpensive. Um, at Stein's, now I have already gone over what I am going to do with it. This is going to be a weed bin because it is full of grass seed. Um, so this is probably going to be in quarantine for some time. It looks like it's been in the nursery for a good, good amount of time. The tag is just about destroyed. So it is my philodendron hope. Now on to some other plants I picked up at, um, I think it's called World of Flowers. It's a nursery that I had just gone to for the first time today, but it seems very super great. I also picked up some stuff at Home Depot as well. And if, I think I got, oh, I got one other plant from Steins, but I am actually not going to spray this guy. I got a staghorn fern and I know they're really super difficult to take care of. This one looks very, very healthy. I inspected it. looks pretty pest free. Still going in quarantine, but I am not actually going to do preventative measures. I don't want to damage this guy. So that is the staghorn fern. So now what I am doing here is spraying everything down with insecticidal soap. Um, it is Garden Safe brand. It is um, for organic gardening. So it does protect against aphids, mealybugs, leafhoppers, a scale, thrips, white flies, you know, some other listed pests. So, yes. Now, anyhow, um, it seems to be working out pretty good. Now this, um, we're going to do the plants from this nursery, which these are all getting repotted like right away. Look at that dirt. That is disgusting. Um, it does not look like the healthiest nursery in the world. They're very inexpensive. Get the soil nice and wet for now because they're not getting repotted right this minute. And then I'm going to turn the plant over so I can get the undersides real good. Oh, I'm out of frame. I'm sorry. I'm trying to do all this one handed. It's pretty sad. All right. So this guy is a um, common ivy. It's called gold child ivy. I actually believe this might actually be the gold colberry, but I could be wrong. Um, I almost, I almost feel like it is the gold colberry ivy. Um, it might be mistagged, but that was. A nice looking plant. Next up I have Annie Marine Ivy, which is absolutely gorgeous. Look at that foliage. I'm trying to watch where I'm spraying and make sure I get everything. Not so much the frame, I'm sorry guys. Let's get that soil. Flip her over. There we go. Make sure I get all the undersides really wet that foliage down. Next up, it's another common ivy. It's just green English. Um, I choose to use organic because I do have pets. Just in case, because they do rub on my plants. If anything, that is what they're doing um, on the feel-good sunny days. So... I get to the other hand, my, my hand's getting tired from all this spritzing. Make sure I get in the soil good. Yes, look at you. And yet another common green ivy, um, English I should say. Uh, 
looks to be about the same as the other one. This one was actually from Home Depot. But it was such a beautiful plant for relatively cheap. I said, you know, it's got tons of new growth. This is going to propagate really quick. I'll pay for the both of them just on this one. I'll plant them in the same pot because I'm fairly common. It is an unmarked ivy. It's just assorted. So I feel like they're twins, right? Yeah. All right, so moving on. Now this one is also from Stein's. It is an asparagus. No, this is from that nursery. This is an asparagus fern. Um, I remember mom having one of these when I was a kid. Now, the asparagus fern boy. Let me tell you what, it is such a plain vintage plant. I love it. All right, that has been sprayed. Next up are some plants that I picked up from the Home Depot. I got myself a Haworthia, or no, I'm sorry, this is an aloe hybrid, isn't it? Aloe vera brevifolia. It's a crocodile plant, and it is very beautiful. It's in very good shape. They just got a fresh shipment, it appears, because these succulents and aloe varieties and such are nice and stiff, plump, wonderful looking. Let's get a jade with a rotting leaf lit in there. But just a regular jade. Spray it down. Because I no longer trust anybody. I'll tell you what, I'm dealing with a case of mealy bugs right now in the house on my um, gardenia. So I'm taking no more chances. Uh, now I've also got a bird's nest, Sansevieria, in the yellow variegated variety. And right there, that is my plant haul of the afternoon. Um, all these were completely paid for by cuttings. This guy was actually paid for cuttings off of my Monstera Deliciosa. Which, or I could say the Monstera Deliciosa paid for itself. But I did give $20 for this guy. I'm very impressed. It's a very, very nice plant. It's the, mo it's the nicest one they had. It does have a broken leaf or two and is literally covered that gonna focus in grass seed it is so gross but uh, I have a feeling this might be a long-term uh, segregation because if you look at the leaves in the light almost looks like they've been chewed on they could be sunspots I mean it doesn't look like there's any pests on the plant but I'm not going to be taking my chances and especially for a $20 plant yes it's beautiful no it is not beautiful enough for me to risk the rest so thank you for watching and um, tune in next time and I'll let you know how these go